Hello everyone, Dungeon Master 372 here coming at you with Season 1, Episode 6. Yes, that's right, we're on Episode 6. And today we're, we're kind of been working on some, some stuff for, you know, lava transferring from the nether to the overworld and some other stuff. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I got a bunch of stuff done between last episode and this one and I wanted to kind of go over that with you. I'm hoping I have a little bit more time to kind of get started on our next step. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first I'll show you what I've added and then I'll show you the recipes for stuff that I haven't gone over yet. Ah. Uh, one of the first things you probably noticed is my, my sword has changed. <laughs> I had to rebuild it since I lost it. Lost it in some lava. So, yeah. But I rebuilt it. Had the stuff to kind of rebuild it. I, I added sharpness to it and, and everything. And instead of just adding on extra moss to it. So, so yeah. It still repairs itself, but... Is very effective as you can see I've added some redstone energy cells here being charged up so that way they can give us plenty of energy and I wanted to show you the setup I have over here on my chest and my my automated setup for supplying these engines here with the coal they need to burn so we can have energy it's a semi-automated setup, and it will be upgraded soon to something more suitable. But we've got chests here on top of hoppers, and we've kind of added some hopper ducts here, so that way they always the engines here are actually getting fed with with these uh, with coal, so that way they can power everything. We've got our energy cell here. Uh, most of our cells are almost filled. So that'll be cool whenever they're all done. Because we'll have plenty of energy to transfer around where we need it. Oh, hello, Creeper Man. And why are you continually walking in that direction when I'm not over there? Ha! Awesome. We got that taken care of. We got some more... Uh, I don't generally deal with mobs on camera too much. I don't try to anyway. But they will spawn on this. And the range at which they come at you is just crazy. I got extra looting on my sword too. Which is pretty cool. So, we've got that taken care of. Yeah, I see you coming. We're going to go ahead and sleep right quick. So we're not bombarded by these evil creatures of the night. Oh, great. Got my skelly head. Awesome. All right. I think we've got them all. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Now, after showing you the setup that we have for... For the energy cells here, I want to show you what I've done in the nether. And then I'll go over I'll go over our setup here and then we'll go over the, the recipes and stuff. So yeah. Like I said, a lot of stuff has gone on. I've tried to record a couple of times and had some issues with my machine. So, unfortunately, I some of this stuff got done and the video lost. So, but we're working on it. 
as you can see we've supplied our pump here with some power and we had to move it down so that way we could have so it'll work because it has to be right on top of lava not sure why that is but but that's the only way to make it work i've built us an ender tank which is supplying our overworld with some lava i'll show you where i've got that other tank set up over there and <coughs> we've got our tank here filled with lava and it's ready to go so we can pump our lava out where we need it <coughs> it's cool stuff now th this tank here is a multi-block structure as you can tell it has it's made out of iron tank walls and iron uh, tank gauges and iron tank valves <laughs> so you can pump in and out of e any one of these uh, ports here so the more of those you have the more access you have to that tank we're going to build some of these in the overworld as well so we have plenty of storage elsewhere which is pretty cool so pretty much <laughs> for our tanks here we're going to go ahead and go with now let's just do this okay so our first recipe here will be going for our iron tank walls which is just four iron plates and to get the iron plates you got to use a rolling machine which we've already got that created in our machine room <coughs> but you know in the rolling machine four iron ingots will get you from four iron plates so cool and then you got four iron plates plus five glass plane panes to get you eight iron tank gauges and four iron plates plus a lever plus four iron bars will get you your iron tank valves and that will give you eight per recipe so that'll be pretty that's pretty cool <clears throat> also just just a note these these iron tanks have to be an even or an odd number as far as the base because <coughs> you have to have an iron tank block uh, wall in the middle of this uh, at least on the bottom because that's where all your information is going to be stored is in that one block so so just keep that in mind when you're building one of these <coughs> and this iron tank can la can you know c contain uh, like 3920 buckets of lava or any other liquid of that same amount so that's pretty cool <coughs> and as you see okay and another cool thing about this pump here is that whenever it pulls up lava it replaces it with stone which means that this pump here only loads what it, it it's taken from this right here so it you know and that's that's cool because especially when you're on a server because when you're on a server you know too many people chunk loading specific areas just for lava production can get a little bit hectic so the endothermic pump is the way to go with that now I'm not sure exactly its max range as far as how far out it will mine but it it only it only chunk loads what it, the areas that it's needed for for its mining purposes which is pretty cool so it is constantly pumping <coughs> now I will also show you all the recipe for the ender uh, ender tank as well I've already showed, I went over the endothermic pump recipe, so let me get that tank.
Okay, the ender tank recipe is just like you see here. You get a cauldron, two obsidian, four blaze rods, a piece of wool, and an ender pearl will make you an ender tank. For a cauldron, it's just an upside down U or a U shape in the high on grid, and you get yourself a cauldron. Okay, cool stuff there. So, yeah, and the cool thing about the ender tank is that when you place it down, you can you can dye the dials on the top of the tank in order to change up uh, its setting to where you know because anything that whenever you plop it down anything that has the the same matching color code on the top of the tank will give you the lava that you're asking for or you know the item or the liquid that you're requesting so say for instance like in the ne in the nether as you see uh it was all white and i had lava pumping into it now in the overworld whenever i put place a an all white ender tank somewhere i will have access to that lava that's being pumped into that white tank in the nether so cool stuff there that's an easy way a simple way of transferring liquids from different dimensions into a dimension that's needed now I'm gonna go ahead and show you where that's being pumped right now because this is where I decided that I was going to have it pumped to because I I really wanted this seared tank to be be kept full at all times so therefore we got an ender tank being pumped and uh, the liquids are being pumped out of the, the, the tank into these fluid ducts from thermal expansion and being pumped directly into the seared tank and right now that's that's an awesome setup because later on we'll either tie into this ender tank into some uh, some of our other machines or we will just drop down another ender tank which would be pretty cool so let me go ahead and fill in this hole here done a little quite a bit of mining in the between the last episode and this one as well still working towards getting our our quarries together but we're still needing some power production from build craft to get ready to start that up so oh hell no not again a same spot Ugh. oh well I will fix that later or here soon okay looks like I'm gonna have to kill you mr. Enderman I don't like the fact that you were in my house stay out my house ha. so yeah, pretty much that's what we've done between last episode and this one, and you know, try between attempts of trying to record. So, a <laughs> little bit of trouble, but we're gonna be doing okay. So, I'm going to cut out, cut, cut video, and get this area repaired and try to fix and try to fix what's broken and see what else I can do for this episode. I'll be back in just a moment, guys. Hello, everyone. Dungeon Master back at you. Coming back from our testing world. I've come up with a pretty interesting little idea for our, for our quarries and stuff, because that's what we plan on doing today. I got all the stuff I need for our quarry, I think, already set up here. So let's go ahead and build that. First, to start out, we need to figure out what we are going to need for our quarry here. Wait, that's the mining well. We don't need that. We need our quarry. Now, we're not doing the quarry plus like I had stated previously because. Quarry Plus requires a lot of stuff that we don't quite have yet, and 
we will you will we'll use the regular quarry for now and then step up to the build the quarry plus quarry so no big deal we're just going to use this one from the billcraft factory here and we're going to need three iron gears plus two force gears plus two diamond gears a diamond pickaxe which i have that and one redstone okay to build the diamond gears we're going to need first a force gear and four diamond to craft that and then you get pretty much you get a stone gear which we already got those I mean I've already went over the wooden gear and the stone gear so we should I shouldn't have had to cover that again so here we go okay so we're going to upgrade these two force gears and take these upgrade these to force gears Now we're going to take two of these and do the same thing here, 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 and here. And we got ourselves two diamond gears. And then we got three of these. So we're going to go do this, 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 and this will get us. Uh, Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to build me another <clears throat> It has to be fully repaired, I guess So let's go ahead and take care of that I thought I could use that one since I didn't need it anymore, but it won't let me. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, so now we got ourselves diamond pick. Now let's try this again. Diamond pick. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait. Ah, I see what I'm doing. Those were not iron gears. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade these. There we go. Might help if I have the right gears, guys. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's try the one that I've already damaged and see if it'll work for that. Okay, damaged one didn't work. Alright, yeah, it had to be a full, age, full, full, full one. So, alright, we got ourselves our first Billcraft quarry. Energy conduit. You know what? I think instead of just using regular chests, I'm going to need a lot of stuff for this. So I'm going to pause this and then I will get back with you guys as soon as I'm done. Okay, guys, we're back. And I'm, I've am i come up with an, uh, an easy way to store our items to start us out with. Uh, one of those ways is we're going to use these upgrades here to, to upgrade us a main chest. But most importantly, we're going to use 
wood barrels to store our main components. We're going to also need a few more items, I think. I think we're going to need... Now, I'll, I'll get to the recipes in just a moment. But our main component for this is going to be our dime... Diamond transport pipe, I believe. Uh, let's just put pipe in here. Be easier. That's an emerald. Uh, we want. Yes, this is the one. We want our diamond transport pipe. Okay, so that's going to be simple. Two diamond and a glass. We're almost out of diamonds. we have to start mining before too long if we don't get this thing up and running. Which I'm sure we will here real, real soon. Most likely by today. Well, at least we get eight out of that because we're going to need a few. All right. With that being said, I want to do one more thing. Let me see if I've got the stuff for it. I need to see if I've already got the main components together for it. Which I don't think I do. Nope. I gotta go make the components. So. If y'all are wondering what I'm doing. I'm creating ourselves another location for our quarries. Yep. We're going to go into a different world. I think it's about time for us to see some new scenery. Y'all haven't seen much of the nether yet. Because I'm still having troubles in there. But going to the world that we're going, we shouldn't have much trouble with mobs or anything to that nature. So, let's see. What are we going to need for this? Um, this is a new mod. I come across this mod as... As I was doing research for my mods for my mod pack... <laughs> Uh, this this mod was created by a Roma 1997 and and yeah so we're going to need portal frames blocks we're gonna need a couple and we're going to need a multi a mining multi tool and yeah so cool stuff there so we're going to try. The recipe for that okay not too bad just stone brick stone pick flint and steel and any kind of stick so we're gonna go ahead and create ourselves a stick which actually I think I got sticks over here so we need one stick let me see if I got an extra flint and steel over here somewhere Oh, yes, we do. Um, I don't think I can use the partial one, but we'll try anyway. Two stone brick, which I got that right over here. Wait a minute. No, over here. Need two of those. And then a stone pick, isn't it? stone pick let's see if I've got one in here no got one of those got a diamond pick just can go back in there 
Ah, uh, can make us a quick stone pick. And I'll grab us a few more sticks. Two more to be exact. All right, awesome. I'm going here, create our stone pick first. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it goes there, there. Let's try this first. And two of these won't get us. Nope. Didn't think so. Mining multi tool. Cool stuff. And now I need to get us some stone brick to create ourselves. I think we only need 10 to get us started. And that should do us. Okay. Awesome. I think that'll work for us right now. Alright, we're going to go create ourselves a new world. We're getting close to cutting to into our wrapping up time. But we'll go ahead and get this world created and get our try to get our buildcraft quarry going. Okay, just like any other portal, you take the mining multi tool. Now one more thing, if you so notice, there's a message in the chat panel there. It says you have to sneak in it. So when you walk in here, you can't. You notice it don't automatically te teleport you. What you gotta do is you gotta sneak. Yay! We've made it. You gotta give it some time to generate a little bit. And it's gonna give me a little bit of an issue for starting out. As you can see, totally flat land. The sun should be out. Okay. Cool stuff. All right. Now we sneak back through the portal. What we're going to want to do to get us started on that in that world, I'm wanting to build us a little bit of a small base to get us started in there. Go ahead and take care of these guys. If I don't lag out and lose myself. No big deal. Okay. We want to get us some building blocks. Not sure exactly what I want to use. I really don't want to use something I've already used before other than maybe... The base salt. I think we'll use base salt since we got plenty of it. Just get us a small room set up first. One thing I want to do is show you all the recipe real quick for the barrels that we're going to be using. Forgot to cover that real quick either too. But, but yeah, we're going to want to create barrels using that recipe. Seven wood logs and a wood plank. Leaving the central center area blank will give you a barrel. <clears throat> We've created nine barrels. Why 
won't they stack on top of each other? I don't know. But, but that's how you do that. We're gonna go ahead and put this, these planks back. And, yeah. Okay, so we've got, I'll put this, uh, okay, let me put these ores back. That'll be easier. So we don't need those. We've got these. Um, let me put these. Oh, where's my glass? There's my glass. Okay. Uh, we, let's go ahead and do half. And then put away that. That. I'll eat these. Put that away. Okay, I think we're ready. Just grab me some conduct. Conduct. Uh, transport pipes here. Take that stack there. We shouldn't need more than that. All right, now equipped with everything we I think we'll need. Oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more basalt brick. Yeah, let's get some basalt brick. That should do us. Let's go and take care of this real quick. Okay, now that we're here, oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's see, where do we want to build our first quarry? I think we'll just plop one down right out here. First, we'll build ourselves the... Okay, guys, and uh, we're back. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for our video today. Please stay tuned as our next video will be coming out within the next day or so because we didn't quite ca cover everything I wanted to cover and I'm going to go ahead and continue recording on that and get you a video out very soon. So also please click like and subscribe if you like what you see here and join you know check out the links in the description below. Join our website have fun with that as well and you know I enjoy looking forward to your feedback as well because I am always looking for ways to improve my videos and getting getting you all the information that you all would like to see I'm also covering like very new and fresh mods some of them very fresh that I haven't I haven't seen them in a mod pack before kind of mods like the dimensional world mod and some other things so we will co further continue our coverage in our next video and that will be out within the next day or so so please stay tuned with us and as always guys have a good one